the first bubble question, okay? Bubble diagram, okay? So when it comes to these puzzle questions, and I wrote about this in one of my blogs, the first thing is to is to really look at the graphic part of it and try to understand or have a really vague understanding of what this could be about, okay? So in this case here, we see, okay, there is a bubble diagram. And then you need to spend maybe 10, 15 seconds just observing the graphic part, just seeing what this is going to be about and making sure that you understand all the main elements of it, okay? So in this situation here, we had some thick lines and thin lines and we know that's going to be about a uh, hierarchy of adjacencies and we see a lot of empty bubbles and at first we might be intimidated by that but don't worry that's nothing to be uh, panicky about because once we really start diving into this we will realize that the question kind of solves itself out okay so during our first glance at this Yes, we see there's a lot of empty bubbles and we see that there is this bubble here that a lot of other bubbles are linked to and then there is one bubble here that is kind of like end and then there is this other one that is an end, either end or, or a start. And more or less we can see that this whole bubble diagram can be kind of divided into one one block here and the second block here, right? So what I just said is what your brain will understand in only a couple of seconds looking at it. So these are things that take much longer to explain than to really do them once you have these practices in mind, okay? So having these two or three uh, notions in your head that you just gained by glancing through the graphic part, now we dive into what's written about this question, okay? So it says, an architect is working on a production theater project. Some of client's requirements are as following. Number one, foyer needs to have immediate adjacency to auditorium and code check. Stop here. Pause right here. Now, rather than reading the rest of the question, let's get back into the graphic part and see what we can solve just by knowing this first requirement, okay? Because, because this is kind of what is hard about these bubble diagrams because you are going to be tempted to read the whole question first, you're not gonna understand anything, and then you're gonna start doing what you need to be doing right away, if that makes sense. So, first requirement is foyer needs to have immediate adjacency to auditorium and code check. Okay, now let's locate auditorium or code check. Okay, auditorium is right here, and it says immediate adjacency to stage, which makes total sense, and code check. And there is foyer here. So we have these kind of three elements. And then auditorium is already linked to stage, as we said. So the only way, the only thing that can go here is foyer, right? So let's drag that guy right here. Come on. Okay. Ah. And then what's up with the code check? Foyer needs to have immediate adjacency to auditorium and code check. Okay, now foyer is auditorium and code check. That means code check, code check. There we go. Come here, boom. Or not, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we, before we move on to number two, now we're kind of starting to realize that this block over here is going to be front of the house. So if we start looking at these guys over here, the room names, 
we realize that, okay, lobby is going to be here. Uh, this here is going to be main entry. And then what is left to go here out of these? Green, green room, no. Workshop, no. Box office, yes, please. There we go. Now you can see just how much we resolved by not even reading the whole question to the end. Okay. And now we go back to requirement number two. Now that we exhausted everything that we could um, at this point. Workshop does not need to have immediate adjacency to stage. Whoops. Now, I don't know if, I'm not sure that um, that NCARB would give you this kind of expression, but I feel like you never know what you can get, so might as well be ready, okay? Now, we lo locate where the stage is. Stage is here. So we can see that stage needs to have immediate adjacency to all the rooms except for one. And requirement number two confirms that's going to be workshop. So let's put workshop here. And then we have three more left. Now, if workshop is here, uh, this here is going to be loading dock. Okay. Boom. And then what's going to be left is green room and storage. Now green room is um, a room that is utilized by performers, actors, and so on. Uh, so that is going to be between dressing rooms and stage, which is going to leave us with storage to fill the space. And boom, we're done. <laughs> okay.